the roadway of the Brooklyn Bridge is held up by just over a thousand vertical suspender or hanger cables, each about the thickness of a human wrist. Each cable is made up of seven strands of steel twisted around each other, a total of 100 miles of steel in every cable. The cables are galvanized, covered in a protective coating of zinc. 100 years after people. This is hanger cable. And you look at the condition of the cable. You can see the paint is uh, peeling off. And you can see that there are places where there's red rust. That means that the galvanizing is failing. And you may have failures uh, by fracture of individual wires. And then the rope will fail. In the time of humans, the Golden Gate was an engineering marvel, crossed by 108,000 cars every day. Two days after people, the only thing crossing the bridge is a single, silent assassin. San Francisco's greatest landmark will die by fog. The moisture condensing on the bridge will promote the formation of rust. So the fog may steal in on little cat feet, but when it comes to a steel structure, it's a tiger. A hundred years after people, dense fogs feed the rust, which threatens at the point of highest stress the vertical cables that bear the crushing weight of the deck. The failure of one cable quickly triggers others around it. Unsupported, the roadway plunges 245 feet into the chill gray waters of the bay. When it opened as a gateway to Ontario, Canada in 1929, Detroit's 1,850-foot-long Ambassador Bridge stood as the longest suspension bridge in the world. But as the vertical suspension cables give way, nothing will ever cross this bridge again. The vertical cables lay over one of two horizontal white lines known as catenary cables. 37 steel strands interweave to form just one of the catenary cables. Another vertical cable snaps, and a segment of the deck crashes into the river. Within seconds, the other sections fall. That big cable is anchored on either side, and when the deck is no longer there, the tension will be uneven. And that would put quite a bit of strain on those towers. The towers finally yield, and the last vestiges of a great transportation link disappear.